Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a tutorial where I show you how to get two slightly different looks using one trio from the brand Prestige. This is a bold trio eyeshadow in the shade Moonstruck, so if you want to see how to do that, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes, and this is with Milani's eyeshadow primer. You do not need that much, so wipe a little bit of that off, and then I applied it all over the moving part of my eyelid, up to beneath my eyebrow, as well as on my lower lash line. Now, going into this trio, I am taking a stiff flat brush and going into the lightest shade, which looks white in the pan, but you can see is actually kind of a duochrome white with a shimmery iridescent purple. It's just beautiful, and that's what I'm using as my inner corner highlight. I'm placing that about a third of the way on the upper lid, as well as the lower lash line. Then, flipping that brush over, I'm going into the slightly bronze shade in this palette and I'm using that all over the majority of the moving part of my lid as well as the center of my lower lash line. Next, I'm using a somewhat fluffy angled brush and going into the deep, gorgeous cobalt blue in this trio and I am placing that in my outer corner. Whenever I want to create a somewhat precise outer corner shape, I always go for a brush like this because I find it's easiest to work with. I'm also adding that blue just to the outer third of my lower lash line and really making sure it blends in with all of the colors that I have laid out there. The nice thing about these shadows is they can be worn somewhat sheer or really built up, which is what I'm doing with this blue to make it super vibrant. Then taking a fluffy brush, I'm using that to blend out the crease just a little bit. You don't want to mud muddy the colors, but you don't want any harsh lines either. So I'm just using that to softly blend it out. Then the last step is to go back into that bronze shade and make sure the centers of the lids are still just as vibrant as they were before. Now using another liner from Prestige, this is the shade Surf. I'm using that to line my waterline, my upper tight line, as well as the outer third of my lash line. The mascara I'm using in this look is Jordana's Best Lash Extreme. It's one of my favorites at the moment and I'm using a few coats of that on my top and bottom lashes. It doesn't take a lot, as you can see, to see some nice results. The foundation I used in this tutorial was Revlon's Color Stay for a combination of oily skin and you can see I like to place it with my finger first and then use my favorite huge It Cosmetics brush to blend that in. And to polish things up, I'm using Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light and putting that in my under eye area to brighten up and cover any under eye circles as well as over blemishes. And then I just use a fluffy blending brush to blend and buff that out. Time to add some dimension, so to do that I'm using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and another huge fluffy brush from IT Cosmetics. And I'm using that to bronze the, the usual places on my face, the temples, back of the cheekbones, and the bottom of the chin. Then I'm going in with NYX's blush in Bourjois Pig and a little fluffy blush brush and using that along the tops of my cheeks. And last are the lips. For this look, I am using Milani's lipstick in the shade Fruit Punch, and I don't want too much pigment because these really can pack some serious pigment, so I'm just dabbing that lightly on the lips and then using my finger to buff and blend that out. So it's really just a more subtle, natural pink on the lips. And that is it for look one. There are just a few tweaks we're gonna make for what is a smokier, sultrier, maybe more of a nighttime look with look two. Let's get started on that. So this transition is super easy. All I'm doing is taking the same flat brush I used before and going into the deep blue, and I'm using that to pat very lightly into my inner corner to create the spotlight effect with my shadow. Dabbing it on the inner corner and then connecting the two from the outer corner to the inner corner. I also went in and brightened that center pop of color up as well. I'm playing it a little bit safer with lipstick on this look because the eyes got a little bit bolder. This is Rimmel's Moisture Renew lipstick in the shade Let's Get Naked. And that is all it takes to get these two somewhat distinct looks from this one trio. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to do it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!